Today we're going to be going through 20 keyboard shortcuts for Visual Studio that once you know about them, you're going to be using them every single day. Number 12 will completely change the way you navigate Visual Studio. Let's get started. First up is the rename function. You shouldn't be using Control F or Control H for search and replace. Rather use Control RR. This will rename your members, whether it be a variable name, a method name, class name throughout your entire project. So here I will rename it as the title. You can see it actually affects wherever we've used that completely. One small caveat that, though, if you're a WPF developer, it will not affect your XAML files. Your binding in your XAML files will still, you'll still manually have to go and change. Next is to cut an entire line. As long as you don't have any text selected, I use this to delete the entire row more than anything else. Then we can move code up and down. Um, by using alt up arrow or down arrow. Use control dot or control period rather to bring up a list of quick actions or refactoring suggestions. This is contextual, so if you have your cursor on a member, you'll have options based on that member. If you have a block of code highlighted when you hit the shortcut key, you'll get uh, menu items according to that block of code. You can create multiple cursors in Visual Studio by hitting Alt, Shift, and Down, Up, or Up Arrow. F12 will take you to the definition of a member, but hitting Alt F12 will allow you to peek and edit in a separate small little window, uh, which is exceptionally useful from having you to jump around the code base. To go to a specific line, it's Control G. If you need to comment out a block of co code, it's Control KC. And if you need to uncomment something, it's Control K. You. If you need to surround your code with a for loop or an if statement, it's control KS. It'll give you a list of snippets in which you can wrap your code with for loop, for example. You can write your own snippets as well. The surround with shortcut doesn't seem to work on razor files. You'll get this message at the bottom where it says that it's bound to that, con it's bound to that shortcut, but it's not currently available. Microsoft needs to get on this. But for Razor files, you do have an option to hit Alt Shift W that will wrap your code in a particular tag. Then for the life altering shortcut to navigate Visual Studio, hit Control T or Control Comma. This will bring up an option to search absolutely everything in your project. And whether you're looking for members or file names or types, whatever it is, this finds it. This changed my life when I started using this. I give you an option to um, filter down and for just look at file names, or if you give it the prefix of T, you're looking for types. I personally don't bother with the filters. If your assets are named good enough, you should be able to find what you need just fine. You'll quickly find you never go back to Solution Explorer again after getting the hang of this. But if you're not convinced and you wanna keep using the Solution Explorer, you need to find out where you are. Hit Control bracket, Control S, and the file that you're working on will be selected in the Solution Explorer. On to formatting, if you need to format your whole document, Control K, Control D. Then to run your project is F5, and to run without debugging is Control F5. Then while you're debugging, if you want to look inside a method, you can step have your debugging step into that method with f11 or you can hit f10 to step over that piece of code then we have while this is technically a windows shortcut it's so useful i thought i'd mention it to delete an entire word control backspace will delete the word right behind the cursor whereas control delete will delete the word right in front of the cursor then Windows key with either the right or left arrow will snap your window to half the size of the screen. Windows key up or down will either maximize or minimize the window. Windows key left or right can also be used to move your window onto a different display if you're using multiple monitors. So there you have 20-ish uh, shortcut keys for Visual Studio. Please let me know in the comments if you don't use Visual Studio, you rather use Visual Studio Code or Rider or something else for your .NET development. I'd love to know. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.